So in this video, we want to just get some intuition of what's happening uh, with a nozzle. And let's begin by considering um, a compressor. And let's assume that the air inside that compressor is compressed to eight bar, and that out here, uh, we're at atmospheric pressure, which is one bar. So we have a seven bar differential. And let's assume we open this valve here, and you know, if we can just imagine, you know, the air all under pressure, here and it just wants them to gush out through through the valve yeah i think we can uh, imagine it coming out at a very fast velocity you know this this is eight bar you know the pressure differential is, is seven so i think we can imagine this air coming out at, at a really fast velocity then as the air leaves the vessel the pressure will drop and we can imagine the uh, the velocity of the air decreasing as well. Well the same thing happens with a, with a nozzle. If, if we have a nozzle and we have the air in, at a particular pressure and let's assume it's a low pressure at the nozzle entry then we can expect a low velocity uh, of air out here at the at the exit. But if we increase the pressure then the velocity will also increase. And at some stage, you know, if we keep increasing this pressure, at some stage the velocity here will get get so fast that it will become Mach one, or maybe exceed uh, exceed Mach one. And the pressure that we're really concerned about is called the critical pressure. And we can think of this critical pressure as uh, as a value that if the air expanding, so let's say this is eight bar. And let's say this is two bar and this is one bar so that if the air has to expand below the critical pressure then the pressure differential is so high that we will get supersonic flow so if the another way of thinking it really is if the ambient pressure is less than the critical pressure then we'll get supersonic flow if the ambient pressure is above the critical pressure then we won't get supersonic flow now the critical pressure, if uh, we assume this is station eight on the engine and this is station nine, so station eight is the entrance to the to the nozzle. The critical pressure is the pressure at station eight, all to the power of two over ga two over gamma plus one to the power of gamma over gamma minus one. And just to reiterate, that if the critical pressure is greater than the ambient pressure then the nozzle is what we say is choked and we will have supersonic flow. Now if we have a choked nozzle we will get supersonic flow and once the air goes supersonic for the velocity to increase you need a diverging nozzle. So you you may have a converging uh, diverging uh, nozzle for supersonic flow. But at this point here, this is the choke because to the left of it we have subsonic flow and to the right of it we have supersonic flow and the critical we should design the nozzle that the critical pressure is 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 here at this uh, at this throat of the nozzle. Okay, so maybe um an example uh, might help. So let's say we have a nozzle and the pressure at the entrance to the nozzle is 150 kilopascals and let's say the ambient uh, pressure is 101 kilopascals. So there's our, our equation for the critical pressure when we plug in the values. Uh, I've assumed gamma to be 1.33. Um, when we plug in the values we get a critical pressure of 81 kilopascals. Well 81 is below 101 kilopascals so what it's saying is the air would have to expand down to a pressure of 81 kilopascals before we would get supersonic flow. But if the ambient pressure is 101, then it's not going to have to expand down that far. And we would say that the nozzle is not choked, and therefore the pressure at the nozzle exit will just be atmospheric pressure or ambient pressure. Okay, if we increase the pressure then. So this was 300 kilopascals, 
and again ambient pressure is 101 kilopascals then the critical pressure is 162 kilopascals so the, amb the ambient pressure is less than the critical pressure therefore the nozzle is choked and we would then say that the pressure at this stage will be 162 kilopascals so the nozzle is choked and the air will expand in a diverging fashion here um, to the right of the of the nozzle exit so hopefully that gives you some intuition on on nozzles